Welcome to the anime Japanese lesson where we sort of go over the first couple minutes of an anime. This is a seinen anime, so the Japanese is a little bit more difficult. Um, even if you're a beginner, this is a good chance to get started learning higher levels of Japanese more than just like, oh no, watch out, up and I, it's very scary, things like that. Um, we're just going to jump straight into this, and there's a couple words that beginners can sort of learn right off the bat so that they can just sort of watch, know a little bit of what's going on, and then try and get the rest by going back and listening, maybe breaking it down, trying to look up some words. Please don't use Google Translate. Google Translate is terrible, especially at grammar. Use your dictionary and try and interpret it the best you can, and then you learn the grammatical structure and what the particles do. Uh, if you know Japanese a little bit and you're, you've already got your grammar sort of starting to work, then we're going to go over sentences and some a little bit more difficult sentences, especially if your vocab is kind of dwindling. The first couple words that come up are kawaii, jibun, and um, kokoro. So these are words that you'll see a lot of places. So kawaii is afraid. And there's a difference between kawaii and kawaii. Um, kawaii means I'm afraid, or there's a f there's fear, it, it's a catch-all term for fear or afraid. And it's, it's definitely an adjective. Um, but then there's the difference between kawaii and kawaii with the longer I sound. So kawaii means um, that's cute, or it's very cute, or cute. It's also a catch-all term for cuteness. Then you have jibun no mai, and then jibun no kokoro, my heart. Um, one word you might not be familiar with is fumikomu, which is, it's creeping, or, um, jibun no kokoro fumikomu, fumikomu kuai. Uh, the fear is creeping into my heart. Then, it sort of moves on to his job interview, where he's talking to a publisher, and he's trying to get his anime published, or his manga, his manga published, and they're talking about, um, his work, Sakuhin, they're also talking about, what else are they talking about? I have the translation, or not the translations, I have the words. Um, he says something like, um, Demo nante yuka, what do I say about this? Or how do I feel? Um, he He's trying to be careful about how he says it, because he knows that artists are uh, sensitive about their work, and he's, he's like, step into your work more. Um, sakuhin kakanaito, or you're not stepping into your work. Why don't you try stepping into it? Kakanai is you haven't uh, moved into it. Uh, sakuhin is work. Um, he also has this sentence where it's like miete konai desu yo anata no kao ga, and uh, anata no kao, uh, your your face is the subject of the sentence, where um, mie te konai is, it's not seeable. So it's a strange construction, but it sort of refers to the readers and we're not able to see your face in this work. We're not able to see um, your personality expressed in this piece of work. We're not seeing your background, we're not seeing your feelings, we're not seeing your emotion, and it see, sort of seems sort of stilted. And I know I'm saying sort of a lot, but uh, you're learning some Japanese, which is good. Let's see. After that, it moves on to a radio, a radio, um, just a radio saying something. And the important part is, is, is it's saying a date and it's also giving a point of reference. And dates and points of reference are important in this show because of reasons that you'll find out later, and it's good to have the sensitivity. So you also find out that he's uh, Ni Ju Kusai, which is 29 years old. Ni is 2, Ju is 10, so you have Ni Ju, 20, and then Q is 9, and then Sai is just like a counter. So Ni Ju Kusai is your age. Uh, let's see. You also have Nisen Rokunen. Uh, Nisen is 2000, 
and Roku is six. So um, Nisan Roku Nen, Nen is years, so you have Nisan Roku Nen is um, 2006, so you learn that point of reference here, you also hear World Cup, and uh, Kai Kai Makumade is the opening is almost here, so the opening of the World Cup is almost here, a few days. Um, then he has this soliloquy where he's talking to himself about how if he only had the right words, Hibi kokoro no iru ano toki koste ireba teu kotoba. So I'm going to break that down so you can sort of um, understand a little bit. Hibi kokoro days, my heart uh, had, there were at that time. So if we flip the sentence around so that it's more English, um, at that time, um, belonging to my heart, uh, if only there were the words, koste ireba teu kotoba. So you can see that he's he's thinking about um, regret and uh, how he doesn't have the right words to say, and something happened at that time where he couldn't he couldn't tell someone something. Then uh, this this all happens in just like a split second. It's really hard to seek through the video to find it. So you're just sort of clicking, and then you wait for a minute, and it's like, oh, there it is, and it's gone. So I'm just sort of helping you out here. Um, then there is the next sentence, Demosori wa kōkai toyu seijutsu katachi wo turunaku. So, but the words don't take the sincere form. And this one was a little bit harder to break down, especially listening to it, because Kokai is publication. He was just talking to a publisher, so it's like, oh, the publication isn't sincere. But then there's also Kokai, which is the longer, the longer sentence, and you've got this um, higher, higher um, pitch a little bit. It's not as much an emphasis. It's just a, a different pitch. So you have Kokai uh, regret, uh, and then Seiji is. is um, Seiji is sincere, so you have demo sori wa, but it wasn't, and that's the topic, but it, uh, but the thing is, demo sori wa, uh, koukai toyu, um, I'm going to skip toyu because that groups with another word in there, koukai, so the regret, uh, seiji tsu, sincere, and then uh, toyu katachi, oh, means... Um, the form of, so you have uh, kōkai toyu seijutsu katachi so the sincere form, and then that's the object because you have o, and then torunaku is didn't take, so at that time the words wouldn't have taken the sincere form. Demo sore wa kōkai toyu seijutsu na katachi o torunaku. And then it goes on to mukande wa kiete ku kotaba iwake ga. So uh, mukande, it's a very strange word for me because I've only heard it in one other place, and that was the opening of Magi. And it's go he the singer goes like mukande, and he he's singing. But the word translates to um, uncrowned, so it sort of means like powerless. But why is a guy using these fancy words in his his um, soliloquies to himself because I I think he would use more common words because he's not trying to be um, professional or anything like that but he's a writer so I'm just gonna go with it mukane um, so that's the topic powerlessness kieteku uh, something disappeared and then kotoba iwakega so the words were an excuse they disappear when they enter my mind. So that is the first minute of um, Poku Dake Ga Inai Machi. And as you can see, one minute turns into ten minutes of lesson, so we have a long road cut out for us if, you're, if we're trying to learn Japanese. And it's just about sitting down, listening to as much translations, and trying to find the right words that fit in there, and your brain starts to separate words correctly. And um, 
I think that's all. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, rate, comment. It's the best way I can keep in touch with you and the best way you can start learning Japanese and have engagement. You should also go down in the description and check out the first link to that video. Um, listen to the first minute and see how amazing it is. I'll catch you guys later. Woo!